Well, St. Patrick's Day is Sunday, and you can make it extra special with some unique cocktails created by our friends at Pernod Ricard. Yes, Jonathan Schock is the bartender at the award-winning Detroit restaurant Lady of the House. Welcome. Thank you. So what are you making for us today? Uh, I'm going to try to make a few cocktails for you today. Uh, yeah. We're starting off with a little Irish coffee, and then we're going to be doing a uh, whiskey lemonade drink and an old-fashioned. Let's get into it. Right. I'll Jason, which one Irish do you want? Bomb. I'll take the coffee one. Yeah, this is Jason. a <laughs> great way to start the morning here. Well, you know I'm still going to have my stock the bar party at home because That's we right. have renovated the house, so I'll be taking all three of these JMOs home. Okay, I already we'll have the, the bill. I have the red house. breast. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, well, while we're getting this all started, are all whiskeys created equally? Uh, you know, they're like my children in the way that I love them all equally. Uh, <laughs> if you're talking about Irish whiskey, uh, the main thing you're really talking about is uh, blended whiskeys versus uh, pot, single pot still whiskeys. Uh, blended whiskeys are going to usually be a little bit lighter in style, like Jameson, mm -hmm. uh, Tullamore Dew. This Powers Gold that I'm using right here is a great example of that. And that's a blended one. Yeah, that's okay. a blended whiskey. Going to be a little bit easier drinking here. Is there any okay. truth to the old uh, saw about Bushmills being a Protestant drink and Jameson being the Catholic drink? Uh, so really, where that really comes from is the fact that Bushmills is distilled in uh, Northern Ireland and Jameson is distilled uh, in Southern Ireland, so obviously uh. Northern Ireland being a little bit more Protestant in style, and Southern Ireland being uh, a little bit more Catholic, but if you really want to go down that rabbit hole, uh, Jameson was originally a, uh, came over from Scotland, so that should wow. tell you everything you need to know right here. So. You are knowledgeable, sir. <laughs> what did we just put in there? So this um, was just a really little bit of a granulated sugar, nice hot coffee, dissolve that sugar in the hot coffee, Hit it with your uh, Powers Gold mm -hmm. and then top it with a little bit of cream. So I just take heavy cream, whip it up a little bit till it's a little bit thicker consistency. So yeah. then you get that nice layer right there of the of the uh, cream on top and then that nice boozy warm uh, Irish uh, coffee. And then yeah, so beautiful, you don't even want to drink it. Okay, right. what's up next? All right, so next I have a nice little shake and drink for you. So that's great for your morning. Let's talk a little bit about your. Uh, afternoon here so we're going to be using the uh, IPA cask mm. um, so they actually worked with a uh, beer brewer in Ireland to be able to uh, we they basically send the the brewer their um, their whiskey mm -hmm. and the brewer uses it and ages IPA in it and then sends it right back to Jameson who ages more whiskey in the nice IPA cask so wow yeah so really what we're That's doing creative yeah I know right uh, so really, this is just kind of a classic uh, shandy, if you stop and think about it. A shandy is really like a beer and lemonade, kind of a nice, you know, refreshing uh, style cocktail. So this is going to be the heart of that, except instead of using beer, we're going to use that nice Jameson IPA cast. Very nice. That sounds like something you'd like, Jason. Yeah. So He's oh, like... I like all of it. <laughs> I like the nice tartness of a uh, fresh lemon. But obviously, if you're at home, cook, you know, making it up for some friends, if you want to use just regular lemonade, you're welcome oh, yeah. to do so. Absolutely. Good stuff. And let's see, how about for you there? All right. Why do you have the, uh, the burned hickory here and the torch over? So, yeah, that's what we're uh, finishing with here. So the last drink that we're going to be doing is uh, Old Fashioned, um, except we're going to be using the Jameson Black Barrel. So the cool oh. thing about this is it's a little bit kind of a bourbon drinkers uh, Irish whiskey here. A nice uh, double charred bourbon cask that the Jameson is aged in. So we're just going to hit this with a little bit of smoke here. That is very cool. And then we're going to let that Got a fire going. Boom. All, part of, all part of the fun, you know. And so then the smoke uh, gets in the glass. So a little bit of the smoke in the glass and then we're just going to make a classic um, old fashioned here. So Let's we're going to use the Jameson Black Barrel. That smell is oh, delightful. Know, right? Yeah, exactly. Isn't that nice? I had some, something similar uh, in Telluride. I'm done with you. You're back <laughs> was, from it was, vacation. It was up in Mountain Village. It was. <laughs> done with him. <laughs> I have pictures to prove it, videos too. You, you want up me there, my friend. No, I'm not one up you. I'm, I'm He's vouching. doing it on purpose to get on my nerves. That's right. Because <laughs> he took a fancy vacation and is rubbing it in my it face, but it's fancy. okay. It's and then okay. uh, I, I love uh, bitters here, so we're going to hit this with a little bit of Angostura bitters. Yes. And then my kind of little secret ingredient for an old-fashioned just be a little bit of orange bitters Ooh. here. Ooh. Yeah, exactly. I like and it, then, I like uh, it, I like it. it with a little 
ice here. I think part of the thing about cocktails now is this drama that you guys bring to it with like the wood and a little smoky taste in the glass. You know, it's a little uh, little song and dance number here. I like so. it. I feel like it adds to the experience. Yeah, absolutely. There's that for you. All right. And then we're gonna finish it with a nice orange peel cool. here. Ooh, la, la. There we go. Right. Well, tell us about Lady of the House. Where's yeah. it located? Uh, Lady of the House is in uh, Corktown, obviously one of Detroit's oldest and uh, Irish neighborhoods. Uh, uh, really amazing food. I always tell people it was my favorite restaurant in the city, and then I just kept showing up there until they uh, let me work there. That's so, cool. <laughs> yeah, uh, Chef Kate uh, is nominated for a James Beard Award this year for best chef of the Great Lakes region, and uh, I just get to help make a little bit of magic there every single day. So. Big congrats to that. I've heard nothing but good things. Oh, thank That's you so awesome. much. To find more inspiration for creating special cocktails with whiskey, visit the website jamesonwhiskey.com or powerswhiskey.com. That's powers with an S. See, I gotta you know, taste you know, it. You know, uh, taste? Knock that back. The rest taste of the show would be really nice. fun. Yeah, there you go. That's nice. Okay. Thanks for being here. Yeah, cheers.